What's up guys? Jim here. Hello from Quarantine. Today we're going to be taking a look at the new Lionel 2021 catalog. And by the cover, you could probably tell what is in the catalog. So just going to go over the uh, legacy and scale train stuff in this video. You guys will see it, everything else in another video in the next video. I'm going to break it up. Here's your standard, you know, information pages. Everything comes with Bluetooth now. Starting off with the Vision 210 2s, or 21010-2s. Um, so you got all four are Santa Fe. You got polished side rods, black and side rods, um, black bonnet, and Valley Flyer paint schemes. They're all $2,500 with an 072 curve, uh, swinging bell, blow down steam, and whistle steam. We have the US R8 Pacifics. Um, these are, have a minimum curve of 054. They are all 1500. We got SP, UP, and Nickel Plate, Great Northern, and Atlantic Coastline. They all have whistle steam. All right, some more Pacifics. You got MKT and GMO, Golf Mobile in Ohio, and some passenger cars, some heavyweights. Some 460 Camelbacks. Um, these are all $650. These are all Legacy. Uh, I don't believe that they've been offered in the uh, in Legacy. I believe they've only been offered in um, in Mayan Chief form. Uh, so this might be new. But you got Long Island, Strasburg, Reading. N Y O N W, New Jersey, um, Halloween, uh, Delaware and Hudson, and Central New Jersey. You got Mohawks. You got Mohawks going all the way down. You got a couple New York Central, three New York Central, four. You got so you got four regular New York Central paint schemes. Uh, this one's kind of like a a, uh, a weathered New York Central looks like, and then you got two clean ones another clean one over here and a uh, a gray one along with a pacemaker one uh and then you got new haven here those are all sixteen hundred dollars and they have a minimum curve of 054. you got some a pacemaker boxcar set at the bottom here that's 500 bucks with a minimum curve of 031. and you have a vision box car in there um so, should have some sounds and some cool stuff. Now we're moving on to Legacy Diesels. SD70s. Uh, I see one prototypical paint scheme, out of, or two, two prototypical paint schemes out of this whole thing. Got the Kansas City Southern Heroes and Canadian Pacific are the only two prototypical. Everything else, Atlantic Coastline, Santa Fe, B&O, Monon, Great Northern, Boston and Maine, they're all fake, but they are all $600. PA sets, 1000 bucks. You got uh, MKT, New Haven, and Cotton Belt. Uh, the 036 minimum curve. Delaware and Hudson, PA, with some passenger cars. Looks like they, they've been coming, looks like they come up with new tooling for all the different roads uh, of their 21 inch uh, pl plastic passenger cars, which is cool. Um, just wish that they weren't so expensive. The Erie Lackawanna, really the only tooling they're changing is uh, whether it's ribbed on the sides and the observation car. So like this one has a flat observation car. Um, GM Golf Mobile in Ohio. Heavyweight with heavyweights, which is a little different. GP30s, uh, two hundred and thirty dollars a pop. Uh, you got Sue, Sue Line. You got BNSF. You got BN so you got BNSF in the war bonnet, or in the blue bonnet. You got BNSF in the um, the Great North or the 
the Burlington Northern scheme. You got CNW, Chessy, BNO, Kansas City Southern, Reading and Northern. That's really nice, actually. That's really cool looking. The Verandas. These are really cool. A lot of fake paid schemes, though, unfortunately. You only got two prototypical ones up here. You got uh, 61 and 69. Uh, they have a minimum 072. LED Mars, emergency stoplights. Um, electric couplers, 072. So you got, these are 1650 a pop. So you got two couple UPs and a prototypical scheme. You have Alaska, Great Northern, Pensy, Department of Defense, uh, UP in Greyhound, UP in Flag, Rio Grande, and Southern Pacific. SW8. You got New York Central. These are all 500 bucks. You get New York Central, Conrail, Seaboard, Boston, Southern Pacific, Strasburg, Coors, and Rock Island. The Rock Island one looks really nice. They have all, they're all 031 with electric couplers and fixed pilots, I believe. Yeah, electric couplers are included. So, the, uh, Rock Island one looks really interesting to me, so that might be something I might uh, hop on with. The uh, Acela, you have two paint schemes, um, one a fake paint scheme, and they have the um, the actual the Amtrak Acela in the regular paint scheme. These are all 072s, uh, only one powered. Oh, you got two powered two powered engines. So in the previous TMCC run, only one engine was powered. Both engines are powered with dual motors. Panographs are, are powered. Um, lead engine, they all have rail sounds. So everything is, so only one has IR sensor track, but both of them have are pretty much identical otherwise. Uh, the train set, you got kinematic drawbars. So it doesn't look like they have the opening and closing of the doors. So the TMCC one is going to be a little bit different than the Legacy one, but they are going to be um, very nice either way. But for twenty five hundred bucks, I don't know. I'm, I might have to go for the. Uh, I would. Ha I might have to go for the TMCC one if I had to, if I had to choose. Because twenty five hundred bucks for the three cars and two powered mo engines, plus and then it's another thousand dollars for the three expansion cars. And then you have all the passenger cars in the, yeah, all the passenger cars have manually opening doors. They do, all cars have progressive tilt system. Um, yeah. So, I mean, very nice sets. Um, you know, if I had an extra, you know, 3,500 bucks laying around, I'd pick this, the Amtrak set up, but... Honestly, who does have 3500 bucks just laying around? Oh my. Oh my. Oh God. I don't even want to talk about this. You got New Haven, Milwaukee. Let's move on. Oh, ooh. Union Pacific, Pennsylvania, Santa Fe. This is freaking terrible. Thank God they're gone. Jeez. You got Nickel Plate. You got the Nickel Plate Works train set. Which is an SW8 with some freight cars. A uh, thousand bucks for that set. Seems a little steep. Because that's 500 bucks. You can't tell me that all oh, this, this is what makes it expensive. You got the ASA passenger set. You get Lehigh Valley. Or ASA packer set. I, my apologies. That's, 21, that's 2200. The New Hope and... Uh, Ivy Land excursion set, thousand bucks. Get those uh, different style of twenty-one inch passenger cars. Cardinal set, New York Central, twenty-one hundred dollars. Man, pricing people out of the hobby. We got the Santa Fe Flyer set, twenty-two hundred bucks. The John Buell set. Okay, so you can get. John Buell on passenger cars, you can get all this. The John Buell sets are 800 bucks a piece. 
uh, whether you get the the three cars in the engine or the one car in the in, in the engine, they're all eight hundred dollars. Rear Grand Ski Train set. Really would like to see some F40s to go with this, but I don't know anything about marketing. I'm just a you know a guy who likes trains and happens to fly airplanes. You know what, what do I know anything about? marketing vision box cars you got one has an operating electric coupler all right so these all have operating electric couplers so in that pacemaker set only one would have an operating electric coupler but they make uh, noises you can con you have legacy control and they all are two hundred dollars you got uh western pacific oh, you guys can't see it but you got western pacific maryland pennsylvania Missouri Pacific, Pensy, uh, Southern, and Baltimore. 65 foot mill gondolas, 100 bucks a pop. You got Pensy, Bethlehem, CP, Conrail, CSX, and American Steel. 036 with rotating bearing caps. Beer cards, uh, pretty much the same thing that they came out with in the last catalog. Oh, big surprise. There's literally no new tooling in this entire catalog so far. Um, you have the Rio Grande, or they're all 100 bucks. You get Rio Grande, BNSF, Golden West, um, UP, Missouri Pacific, Western Pacific. Tool cars, 100 bucks a pop. Canadian, Canadian Pacific, and New Jersey, Central New Jersey, Chesapeake and Ohio, MKT, Norfolk and Western, and Western Pacific. Kitchen cars. Uh, 150 bucks a piece. Uh, freight sounds. They they all have noises involved. Did the last ones have none? No, these have nothing special. But these all have freight sounds. Uh, you can't control them from the remote, but they just kind of do their own thing. 150 bucks. Canadian Pacific, Central New Jersey, CNO, MKT, NNW, and WP. Bunk cars, 100 bucks a pop. Uh, CP. It's all the same stuff. Standard O double door box cars, fifty bucks a pop. C P and L T Sierra Railroad P O T B and Detroit and Mackinac. And then standard O gondolas with ballast load, fifty bucks a pop. NYC uh Norfolk and Western, Pensy and Union Pacific. Oh, let's bring some more stuff out of the out of the uh, the archives. B and O, Penn Central, Santa Fe, and Sperry, 150 bucks a pop. The TMCC, um, and they got a strobe light. About all the features they feature. Uh, ballast tampers, TMCC. Uh, you can manually retract the tampers. Uh, they have a traction tire. Sounds cool. There's no reason to have it, but I. What do I know? Uh, hundred, two hundred bucks a piece. BNSF, BN, or Burlington Northern, Conrail, NS, SP, and CSX. All right, that concludes the legacy portion of the video. Now, in the next video, you'll see the O gauge stuff. Thanks for watching.